Hello and welcome to Nathan's Garage. Yes, it's been a long, long time. So where have I been and what have I been up to? Oh, a plane. How fitting. <laughs> well, it seems this video was meant to be at this moment. The reason why it all stopped is because of problems in my mind. It seems I have been suffering from a degree of depression for a majority of my life, if not all of it. Certain things happened um, that I just never really got past and never dealt with. I tried to, but I was never successful. And that led to me unraveling slowly, to be honest. And it came to a head when Nathan's Garage was pretty much started. I would try and do things to the best of my ability as quickly as I could, but I never felt, it never felt right. It never felt good enough and it never felt quick enough, you know? I could see such glaring inefficiencies in the way I did things and the way I managed myself. I felt like my mind was controlling me and I wasn't controlling my mind. Um, there were days when I would wait in a room for bad things to happen. And the bad voices in my head would tell me that that's what I should do. Crazy shit. Uh, days when I wouldn't want to get out of bed and I wouldn't want to wake up. Ever. So, something major had to be done. Um, what happens to me when I get in a panic? I don't hoard, I sell. So let me show you around. So this is the garage right now. Very much a normal suburban situation with some scars on the floor, don't get me wrong. But uh, so still got jack stands, trolley jack, some tools, a couple of batteries, 220 volt cable, you know, and all those tools up there. This is, you know, it's become a lot more suburban right now. And then Car Alley is pretty empty. As you can see, everything is gone. Within about two weeks, I sold the Beetle, the Miata, engine crane, welder, everything. It's all gone. And then I had to work on myself. So I have an amazing team of people around me. I can't champion them enough, especially my wife. She has been put through way more than she deserves to be put through, and she is still by my side. I love her with all my heart. I really do. So it's now down to me to basically sort my shit out. I'm from the north of England where, you know, you break your leg, you walk it off. Feelings aren't really something you talk about or deal with. But I'm now on that path and I'm now committed to that path to sort my head out and get in a good place, get in a productive place and get in a healthy place, a happy place Lots of things. So what's the future for Nathan's Garage? I d honestly don't know. I still have a huge passion for cars, obviously, but I don't think any building is gonna go on again in this garage. I think the, the, uh, the chapter has closed and the page has turned for this garage. Obviously, I wanna carry on building, and some days I just wanna get a leased car and I just want it to work when I turn the key and I want the AC to work and then the next day I want a car that feeds my soul. Who knows what happens? I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, sorry this video took so long. I didn't want to make it. Um, it's something I avoided. But I kind of felt like I owed you because you, a lot of you guys have been really loyal to the channel so I wanted to let you know where I'd been and um, what I've been up to. So that's it really. Um, the future is bright, a lot brighter than it's been. You know, you put on a hosting face and smile, but nobody really knows what's going on behind. So as I say, moving forward, the future is bright and we'll see where we end up. So, yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.